Yeah, look, y'all want to see me make bait? I thought I'd just turn the camera on. Since I've been making videos, I thought I'd turn the camera on and show you. I'm sitting here making some herring bait. I know I'm in my room, but see how that, I don't know if you can see that steam now. See it going that way? I got a window fan. It sucks all that stuff out that way. All this stuff ain't in my face. But anyway, get you one of these. If you want to make plastic, you got to have one of these from Harbor Freight. The thing's only like $20 at the most. And it's the thing to see how hot your plastic is. You got to get the plastic to 350 that's to activate it so it'll cure right. And all you gotta do is shoot it. And see what it says? Let me see if I can see on the camera. Look, see what it says? See? It's cure. It's ready. You gotta get it to 350. 320 and all that, you pour it in molds, the plastic don't never. All the chemicals don't react until it gets to 350. That's all I can, that's all I can say. There ain't no other way to put it. It just don't activate. When I first started, I didn't have I, I didn't have no way to see how hot it was. And I was wondering why my plastic never did do right. But it didn't do right because it never got it hot enough. Or if you get it too hot, you scorch it. Yeah, they done got better with the plastic now. It don't scorch as bad. But boy, back in the day, it turned. It turned like, like burnt grease. If you got it too hot. Now don't get it wrong. Now I have sit here and I have sit here and done hundreds of them. I used to do it that way, but I let them see it. I let some bait see it, even now. Well, I just threw one in the trash. Look, I'll show you. This is, this is modern plastic. Look, this is modern plastic. You see how dark that is? I've been letting it sit there. And look, it don't matter how deep you go. No matter how deep you go, see how dark that is? And that plastic been sitting there for about a year or two. But you see how dark it got? The longer it sits, the darker it gets. So, I don't make all them baits no more. I'm only, only going to make them when I need them. And I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm making clear, I'm making clear herring right now. And this is, uh, this is one, one, two, five, by zero one five. This is shredded. I don't, know, I don't know if you can see it or not. That's shredded. See? See, look how it shine. That's shredded. See how it's shredded? I just like to use shredded. I know everybody likes to use square glitter, triangle glitter, round glitter, diamond glitter, and all them different glitters. I don't use all that. I use shredded. That's just me. I mean, I know everybody's got their own deal, but I just like shredded. Have I got the other? Yeah, of course I do. Look at all that glitter. Look at all that glitter. I got all kinds. But that's really the only one I ever used. And see, let me show you before I pour it. Let me show you. See, I made that mold. That's a small baby herring and a big full grown one. Then all you gotta do is pour the plastic down in there. Uh oh. I'm trying to look, make sure I'm in the camera and then and then overfilled it. You gotta pay attention when I'm on film, ain't I? Y'all gonna be like, y'all gonna be like, boy, I know why he's a hillbilly. He just does any kind of way. But most of the time, I don't even care. But I don't see my, my knife laying here. Usually what I do, I overfill it. I just take that plastic and dump it on there and just take that knife and go right across the top 
And it's perfect every time. Every time. It's perfect. See, I got heat glove. Don't forget all your safety. You want this. You want your safety glasses. You want all that. Let me tell y'all in a video so y'all know that. Now, you see all that plastic on there? That's how bad my hand would be burnt if I didn't ever use that. So I do use it. I ain't got it on right now, but I do use it. That's some sandpaper. But I do use it. My table's kind of a mess because I hadn't done this in a long time. And all this old plastic sitting here. See all this old plastic? See all that old plastic? Need to go to trash. It ain't no good no more. See, I know that now. And look, let me show y'all one of my, let me, while it's laying there, look at that, look at that worm there. Y'all ever seen a worm look like that? You ever seen a worm look like that? See? You ever seen a worm like that? I told y'all. Y'all watch my channel, I'll show you stuff. Y'all ain't never seen one look like that. I've been making baits my whole life. To make a mold ain't nothing. You can get that plaster that you use to plaster the wall with to make a mold. The problem ain't making a mold. I'll tell you what the problem is. You may tell you what the problem is? The problem is making a bait that the fish actually bite. That's the problem. They won't just bite anything. I mean, you can catch a fish on anything. I ain't catch a fish. Look, I take this spoon right here, I chop that off, drill a hole in this side, drill a hole right there at the top, and I go right down here to the lake and catch a fish with that. Am I going to catch the fish to win the tournament? I doubt it. But I catch a fish with it. The problem ain't the problem ain't making a bait that uh, catch a fish. To me, it ain't. Cause my thing is, I've been fishing tournaments my whole life, and and believe it or not, I ain't had I ain't never had less than a top five finish until last week. Last week was the worst time I ever had fishing, but I ain't been in a while. My health ain't good. And I ain't been fishing in a while. I did go pre-fish. And I caught my best five was over 30 pounds. But the day of the tournament would go out there. There's 50 of them. I call them battleships. There's 50 of them battleships out there. And they ride right over the top of your fish. They don't even stay outside of casting distance. They just come right beside you and about throw you out of the boat. Now, how you going to fish like that? Man, I ain't never seen nothing like it. People used to not do like that. A rat nana. <laughs> but I was just telling you, though. The only reason why I'm ranting, I've been talking to my son about it. I've been talking to my son about it. See, I make all kinds of stuff. See, I make my own. See, I make my own A-rigs, everything. See, look, I show you. See, look. See, there's nothing to make. See right there? I make this out of lead. You see how fat the bottom is and how skinny the top is? The reason for that is so it runs straight. I don't want this thing coming through there doing all that. You ever see bait coming through there turning over and over? When the bait comes through there, they go straight, right? See? It's common sense stuff. The store don't make stuff to catch fish. They make stuff to sell. That's cheap from China. All right. Well, maybe it doesn't get hard enough. I was just going to show y'all. I was just going to show y'all one. It takes a it takes a minute for this to get hard. This ain't a aluminum mold. You can take it apart instant. Uh oh. Uh oh. It ain't ready. It wasn't even ready. It wasn't ready. 
He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. But like I said, I ain't poured one in it in a while. This right here is the first one I poured in in the last year. But I can, I put it back together to try to hold it for you. I put it back together to try to hold it for you. See, that's what it looks like. See what it looks like? I don't know what the camera picks up because it's so clear. But I'll make another and show you. See what it looks like? It looks just like a herring. I'm just going to throw that away because I hadn't cleaned the mold or nothing. That was just the first one there. I always say the person is just a it's just to get all the oil and stuff out of it. I probably need to put a little oil in it. That might be the problem. See that my oil. That ain't no but that ain't nothing but worm oil. And what I do, I just put a little bit on my finger and just rub it in there. Put a little bit more for the other side. And just rub it in there. And just rub it in there. Just just rub a little oil in there. That don't hurt the bait. It helps the bait. Alright, let's try another one. See if I can get it to do better. I know the video is going to take a little longer. Just because this mold right here don't get hard quick. But I'll show y'all though, man, I got, I got hundreds of mold. I never run out of, I never run, run out of stuff to make videos with. See, look at that, another mold. That's another mold right there. That's a mold. I got them everywhere. I'm just getting started. I just told my son, well, my daughter, my daughter, I'm trying to get her, I bought her a, one of them nice cameras for Christmas. And I wanted to get her to video this and then edit it and all that for me. But to get your kids to do something is the act of Congress. Now she makes videos, but not what I want. That can come out a little bit better. It's gonna get better. I just gotta do more. Let me see if I let me see if you can show you. I can show you this still the mold was dirty the reason it looks like that. See the mold was dirty the reason it reason it looks like that. That's my first one to clean it out. But see, that's a baby herring. Look how good that look. See if I can get close. See how look how good that look. You see that? See that? It's got scale pattern and everything. Look at that. That's a baby herring. You say, well, how you make a bait like that? You take the herring, you take an ice chest, and you take you some, like, two-by-four and make a frame that'll sit down at the bottom. You take screen wire and put over it. You take bag ice, you pour some in there, and you put rock salt on it, and it freezes it right then. Then you put the rest of it inside the cooler. You go out there and catch the herring when you dump you dump, you put some herring in there, you dump that ice back on top of it and put more rock salt, and it's just like instant freeze. Then you can vacuum seal that, and you can use that herring anytime. It stays fresh. That's just another trick. I'm telling y'all way too much, right? I'm giving away way too many secrets. But like I keep telling you though, when I make a thousand scrubs, I'll show you. And I usually don't let this plastic sit out like that. I stick it back in the microwave. The microwave is the fastest way to do your own. See, I got the guns. See, I got the gun. I got all that. I got the, my whole room just full of nothing but bait stuff. Now I'm trying to let this get hard I 
I probably shouldn't show y'all my worm there. That's just a secret. That's a secret bait. <laughs> y'all ain't never seen one like that. I hope my, I hope this thing's reading right. It says it's still 145. See, it's taking forever to cool off. That's the only thing about these silicone molds that I make. You pour it, you just wait forever. And a lot of times I just come in here and I heat that plastic up in my port and I just forget about it. I come back in an hour or two Take that knife, heat the plastic back up, pour another one, and walk off and leave it. If you sold baits, you definitely can't do it this way. You wouldn't make no money. And that's a fact. I'm just trying to make sure I give it long enough to get hard. And it don't hurt that plastic at all. You can just heat it and heat it and heat it. But now, I've noticed though, plastic, if you let it sit for days on end and let it really get cured, see like the bags of plastic you buy at the store were probably made last year. But if you just let it sit and sit and sit, then you try to remelt that, it don't remelt good. As long as you just keep doing it like today, you ain't got no trouble. All right, let's see if I can get one out and show y'all without breaking it. Because it's still super hot. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it out or not. Because I usually let, like I said, I usually let it sit there until it does get, until it gets cured. I have let it sit overnight. It don't hurt nothing. And I come in here and pour another one. See, I still, I still tore it. But it's better, though. It didn't come apart. Let's see if I can show you now. I still, I tore it up. You see how it just takes a while. I just want to finish this video because I don't want y'all to sit there and watch nothing. See it? That's the full grown herring right there. That's the full grown herring. I don't even know how long that is. Let me see if I see my tape measure. I'll tell you how long it is. Cause I really don't know. I ain't, I really don't know. I ain't never measured it. But I'm telling you, it's at least five or six inches. There's a tape measure right there. I know here it gets bigger than that, but not that lake it don't. The commercial fishermen down there catching it every day. Every day. They come off, they come, they drive three hours just to get here. Every day. There's hundreds and hundreds of them. Yep, that's what it is. That's five inches. Five inches is what it is. And I call that my full grown hair now because that's what they're feeding on. That's why I made that mold, because that's what they're feeding on. Now I just took that tail off one of the other molds and made it. But let me see if I can get up here close and show you this one. Can you see the can you see the scale pattern? See the scale pattern? When you mold it, when you mold it after you freeze it, when you mold it, it comes out perfect. It shows all that. And I did make, I did make just a little bit. See, it ain't deep. See, it ain't deep. And I did make just a little bit of hook slot. It ain't deep at all. See? Shoot, it ain't. It ain't about a quarter inch, if that. I made a little bit of hook slot in it. You know, cut 
cut it down through there and so to mold it that way. So it have a little bit of, it don't need a hook slot. Look at that. It ain't wide enough to have a hook slot. All right. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. More videos to come. Thank you.